the Democratic race uh, to replace you has gotten pretty heated lately, and uh, you have Hillary Clinton saying that, or at least casting herself as the rightful heir to your legacy and the one, the candidate who will be the keeper of your legacy, while also saying that Bernie Sanders has been disloyal to you. Is she right? Well, you know, that's the great thing about primaries is everybody's trying to differentiate themselves. When in fact, Bernie and Hillary agree on a lot of stuff and disagree pretty much across the board with everything the Republicans stand for. Uh, so, you know, my hope is, is that we can let the primary voters and caucus goers have their say for a while and let's see how this thing plays itself out. Uh, you know, I know Hillary better than I know Bernie because she served in my administration and she was an outstanding Secretary of State. Uh, and you know, I suspect that um, on certain issues she agrees with me more than Bernie does. On the other hand, there may be a, a couple of issues where Bernie uh, agrees with me more. I don't know. I haven't studied their positions that closely. Um, here, here's what I have confidence in, that Democratic voters believe in certain pr principles. They believe in equal opportunity. They believe in making sure that every kid in this country gets a fair shot. They believe in making sure that uh, economic growth is, is broad-based and everybody benefits from it. And if you work hard, you're not in poverty. They believe in uh, preserving a strong safety net uh, through programs like Social Security and Medicare. Uh, they believe in a foreign policy that is not reckless, that is tough and protects the American people but uh, doesn't shoot before it aims. They believe in climate change. They think science matters. Uh, they think that uh, it's important for us to have some basic regulations to keep our air clean and our water clean. and to make sure that uh, banks aren't engaging in excesses that can result in uh, the kind of thing that we saw in 2007, 2008. So there's a broad convergence of interests around those issues. Uh, I think what you're seeing among Democrats right now is uh, a difference in tactics, trying to figure out uh, how do you actually get things done? How do you actually operate in uh, a political environment that's uh, become so polarized? Uh, how do you deal with uh, the, the power of special interests? And frankly, how do you deal with uh, a Republican Party right now that has moved so far to the right that it's often hard to find common ground? And so that's, I think, the debate that's taking place right now. Uh, it's a healthy debate. Um, ultimately, I will probably have a, an opinion on it based on both be, been uh, a candidate of hope and change uh, and a president who's got some nicks and cuts and bruises uh, from you know, getting stuff done over the last seven years. But for now, I think it's important for uh, Democrat, uh, Democratic voters to express themselves and for the candidates to be run through the paces. I, the thing I can say unequivocally, Carol, is uh, I am not unhappy that I am not on the ballot. 